Beauty Sharks, it's Miss Amanda from the library. Happy Earth Day. Do you want to know one of my very favorite things on Earth? Bumblebees. So I hope you'll all enjoy the book. Give bees a chance. Give bees a chance. Words and pictures by Bethany Barton. This is my best buddy, Edgar. We love all the same things, like board games and dinosaurs, strawberries and honey. And of course, bees. Except that I don't really like bees. Sure you do. Didn't I tell you there are about 25,000 different kinds of bees to love? Squash bees, mining bees, southeastern blueberry bee, eastern carpenter bee, leaf cutting bee, European honey bee, yellow face bee, horn face bee, cellophane bee, metallic green bee, wool carter bee, sweet bee, cuckoo bee, common bumblebee, maybe. And then I told you all about the three types of honeybees. Queens, large fertile females, job, make all of the baby bees, just one per hive. Drums, large males with no stinger, job, find a queen to mate with, 300 to 500 per hive. And workers, small sterile females with stingers, job, everything else, gather nectar, pollen and water, make honey, feed baby bees or the larva, build and protect the hive, make royal jelly to feed the queen and more, 30,000 to 80,000 per hive. Ah! Get them away from me! Blow gently on bees to make them scatter. Whew, thanks. Like I was saying, I don't like bees, but why? mostly because of their stingers and attached venom sacs, which are the cause of the painful bee stings. That part you told me last week. Last Sunday, agar, brave tears, the ouch, super mean bee, stinger. But that was just one bee. Couldn't you still give bees a chance? Maybe I just need to remind you how weird and cool a honeybee's anatomy is. Five eyes, three tiny simple one lens eyes called oculi, two large compound eyes with thousands of lenses, two stomachs, honey stomach or crop for turning nectar into honey, the bee stomach for digesting the nectar, four wings locked together for flying then come apart for easy storage and six legs complete with a pollen basket, an area on the hind legs that can store almost a million grains of pollen. Stinger, ouch. Maybe you just need some time to get to know them. How about millions of years? You know bees lived with dinosaurs. Scientists have found bee fossils from millions of years ago and even ancient Egyptians kept bees hieroglyphic symbol for bee. In fact, honey from bees was found in Egyptian tombs and it was still edible. Oh, honey. Perfect. Maybe you just need some honey. Bees make honey. Why are you telling me all this stuff? So you give bees a chance. Once you learn how great they are, you're bound to fall in love with them. Check out how honey is made. A bee gathers nectar from flowers. Nectar goes into a special honey stomach called a crop. Contents of the crop are spit up into a new bee's mouth. The new bee breaks down the sugars of the nectar with her own crop. This process is nectar is passed along to several more bees who each break down the nectar in their crops until it becomes honey. Then the honey gets barfed into a honeycomb cell and fanned by the wings of bees to evaporate moisture. Lastly, it's sealed with beeswax to keep it safe until it's eaten. Did you say barf? Just one pound of honey takes two million flowers and thousands of bees to create. Ah, too many bees! 
blow gently on bees to make them scatter. It looks like I haven't convinced you just yet. Nope, because they're all gonna sting me. Oh well, bees do sting sometimes, but not because they're mean. Stinger stories, bees only sting to defend themselves. You look delicious, back off, or to avoid getting squished or smashed. In fact, many bees lose their stingers after attacking, which is sort of like your hand disappearing if you pinch your sister. Also, wait, what are you wearing? Bee armor. That's not going to work. It was designed for dragons. I think it can handle bees. Well, there is kind of an armor that beekeepers wear, but it looks quite a bit different. It allows them to collect honey and beeswax without getting stung by startled bees. The white color puts bees at ease. The veil protects your eyes and neck. Hive boxes with removable frames for bees to build honey in. And suits and gloves cover your skin and the beehive frames filled with honey. You know, I love honey, but I'd be willing to give it up forever to never see a bee again. But giving up bees means giving up so much more than honey. Some scientists say bees are responsible for a third of all the fruit and vegetables we eat. Bees have a big impact on the food chain. You see, in order for plants to grow fruits and vegetables, they need the right ingredients, sun, water, pollen. A major ingredient they need is the pollen. But since flowers can't move, they can't always get pollen from each other. I want to make a strawberry. Throw me some pollen. I don't have arms. That's where bees fly in. A bee's fuzzy body catches pollen from flowers. Pollen falls into the next flower the bee visits. They act as a pollen delivery service, helping give flowers the ingredients they need. A single bee can visit over a thousand flowers a day, making bee pollination powers unparalleled, which means without bees, there'd be a lot less yummy stuff to eat. And bees are disappearing in large numbers. Bees actually need our help. Okay, I take it back. I don't want bees gone. I even sort of want to help them as long as they don't sting me. Planting bee-friendly flowers is a great way to help the bee population. Won't that just attract more bees? Hopefully, yes. But just approach a bee like you would a dog you don't know. Don't get too close. Don't try to touch it. Unless you're a flower, it should lose interest and fly away. And if more people like you give bees a chance, they might just have, well, a chance to make the world a sweeter place.